so uh, I was pretty rusty when we started uh, working on Heartland. I don't get an opportunity as an actor to on Heartland to ride nearly as much as uh, Alicia or uh, Amber do. So uh, over the first couple of seasons, I was getting sort of getting my my saddle legs back, and, uh, and I'm not that bad a rider. I'm not really a cowboy. I would call myself half a cowboy or less. I think it would be disrespectful to uh, all the bona fide cowboys, the guys that I know and respect so much, if I uh, if I called myself a cowboy. So uh, I have known how to ride all my life, essentially, but uh, I'm not all that shit hot at it right at the moment. <laughs> And I always love how he takes that long to say, I'm kind of okay. <laughs> you should go into politics next. I'm just saying. Oh, my goodness. Who wants to ask another question? This little gal right in the front here. Don't be shy. <laughs> What's your question? What, 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 what was that? Are we're actually all acting right now. We're not actually friends at all. You should have saw them fighting earlier. It's weird. Yes, no, of course. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody... Uh, we haven't had any sort of... Uh, yeah, fight, fist fights or anything on set. So, yes, we are friends. And we've been riding together now. We've been together on this, this journey. And nobody's had any blow blowouts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hi, Mr. Well, High River is the home of Heartland, and uh, Maggie's Diner is uh, here. The High River has been a big part of Heartland for us for a number of years. Uh, the show kind of got its really its feet here. This is a, a really big part of the show for us. Um, we love coming here and, and love shooting at Maggie's Diner and all around here, so um, we thought this is a great place to end our ride. Yeah. Um, let me just, just before we jump to a question, I just want to say... Are you, are you good? Should I? Okay, you, you, you go. No, I'll go. Okay, you. Okay. So, um, uh, so you guys are all here. Thank you for coming. I just want to say that we are here, for those of you who just arrived, we are here um, to raise funds for mental health. Um, the CMHA is back there, and they're uh, proudly supporting us and, um, and giving resources here. So we just wanted to say that thank you for your donations, and thank you for coming out. This is a worthy cause, and it needs to be talked about and brought up more often. Sean had a great point the other day about uh, saying that a lot of us know somebody or, or have been affected by a mental illness, so this is something that affects a lot of us, and um, it's close to home, so thank you all for coming and supporting this uh, worthy cause. And, and further to that, there is some autographed uh, 8x10 photos at the table just behind you, and the proceeds from those photos are going to go to the Canadian Mental Health Association, so buy lots. I mean, Christmas is coming. We don't like to talk about that. It's feeling it, but uh, make sure that you grab some of those photos today, too. Uh, this gal in the front in the root sweater has a question for you. You want to talk on the microphone? <laughs> what was each of your favorite episodes? Ooh, favorite episodes. I'll start with Amber here. Why do you always pass it off to me when you want to think about your answer first? Exactly <laughs> why. <laughs> so, I think for me there's a difference between watching an episode and making an episode. There's times when I have a lot of fun on certain episodes because of the action and the horse stuff and I just really enjoy the filming process and there's some episodes that I watch and I say, wow, that was a really good episode. I might not have had as much fun because there's not a lot of action in it, but it's just a really well put together episode. So I think for me it's still, I go back to season five, the last episode of season five because that's when Amy did all of her Dark Horse audition and she got to do a lot of Liberty work, which is my favorite mm -hmm. stuff as a horse person. So I definitely had the most fun filming that episode because I got to to learn a lot for it and to use my own skills. And, and I was able to do the entire Dark Horse audition myself. So that was kind of, I almost felt like I was like showcasing my ability to you guys. Like I was like, guys, what do I can do? <laughs> and so it was kind of cool because in the show we do use a lot of different... Um, stunt work and camera angles to make it all come together, but I felt like that was almost like a, a stage performance for me, because if we just ran it all as one performance and I got to do the whole thing and the horses worked beautifully and it was just, it was kind of magical, so that would be the one for me. Um, 
I think my favorite episodes to film are, again, any episodes that involve horse work and that kind of thing. Um, I think my favorite episode to watch was probably the season eight finale because um, not only did it involve a lot of liberty horsemanship as well, um, but it was really cool to watch and I really, really liked the ending. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> Uh, I love watching all the episodes that uh, where the girls are doing liber uh, liberty work. Um, one of my favorite moments in Heartland involves liberty work. It's when Amy has given Jack his birthday gift, uh, and uh, they are in private, and uh, it's just Amy and Jack, and uh, she's showing Jack what uh, what Spartan can do what kind of gift Spartan and her put together and uh, uh, we're out in that beautiful little in the cotton yeah it, yeah there was all the aspen uh, fluffies you know, <laughs> uh, flying through the air and uh, mm. the horses were so beautiful and uh, the performance of that scene I thought was just magical that's one of my favorite moments in Heartland I think episode wise the Hudson Derby still rocks me back. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun one. Nice. Um, and uh, I'd say, I don't know if you guys remember the episode um, where we uh, fix up that bathtub and we're like racing in that bathtub. Um, that was super fun because the thing actually worked. Like we were actually driving that thing. Um, and uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, any sort of stunty stuff like that I get to do, like fight scenes or, or you know, bar fights. Um, did you guys remember the episode when uh, Caleb flips the table and we're in that bar? Yeah. He broke that table. <laughs> he ripped the top of it right off the base and flew it at the camera guys. Yeah, so not on purpose. Not on purpose. Like, he didn't mean to do it. Like it was like one take and he just like was like Rah! and he flipped the thing. It was awesome. It worked out. <laughs> yeah. Nobody got hurt, which was great. Um, but uh, yeah, so any so, any sort of stuff like that where we do stunts or or big fight scenes like that. Um, so those are my two. Is that why he's not on the motorcycle tour? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Kerry yeah. James used to ride a motorcycle, and then he said, "Yeah, not anymore." Because oh. yeah. Okay. He decided well, not to. We got a question in the front here. Yes. Where do I live? Where do I live? Do you want me to give you my address? <laughs> uh, I have a home base in uh, in BC, in Vancouver. There, uh, just a little town called Westminster. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's a lady right right straight yes. in front of you. Hello, Graham. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Don't have a question. Oh, you don't. That's right. And it was so enjoyable that five years to meet all of you and be acquainted. Wonderful bunch. Thumbs up. Carry on. Thank you. Thank you. All right, down here in the blue. Yes. Sugarfoot, actually, ironically. <laughs> um, I've well said that. Played. Yeah. <laughs> I said that uh, for many years. I love that little horse, uh, little chief. He's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. What was your name? Monique. Well, thank you, Monique. Thank you. Thank and that's you. And that's exactly right. But so you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe not so much anymore. Maybe, uh, maybe from today on, it's uh, not so hard to to say that you are who you are and how you are. Uh, that's part of the mission that uh, Cruise with the Cause is on this year. Uh, funds and awareness, both two very, very important aspects of fundraising. Awareness, let's talk. Everybody needs to share their own experiences with their uh, friends, their loved ones, their families. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get help. Don't be afraid to offer help.